When you are setting your machine, you're setting all of your elements of welding in accordance to the thickness of the material. Now, most manufacturers of welding equipment are going to give you some sort of chart to work off of. Now, this, is, this particular unit is a Millermatic 211, uh, and on the inside here, they give you a very robust chart to work off of. The Millermatic 211 happens to work both on 120 volt and 230 volts. That's just depending on your power source or what you can plug into. Probably most garages or sheds that you're going to be able to weld in, they're going to have the 120 standard grounded plug. Uh, and you can work off of this chart. Now, we are plugged into the 230, so we are going to use this chart over here. This is pretty simple. All you're looking for is, first and foremost, how hot your arc is going to become in accordance to the thickness of the material. Second, how much filler metal is going to feed into the puddle, feeding your bead as you pull it through your weld zone. Now, very simple, we just read from left to right, just like a book. Uh, over here, you can see it says materials, steel, wire, solid wire. Over here, this is your shield gas. The mixture that we have in our tank right now is 75% argon, 25% CO2. That's pretty standard for carbon steel. That's what you're going to want to use. Now, this is really important. The wire inside the machine, the diameter of the wire. Now, if you're going to be working on stuff that's really thin, auto body, sheet metal, more regularly, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the 0.024 inch wire or 0.6 millimeter. Okay. Now, if you're working on heavy duty stuff all the time, really thick stuff, anywhere from, I would say, 3 16 and higher, that would be referred to as plate metal, uh, you want to go up to the thicker stuff, uh, 0.045, and that would, that would help you out with plate metal. Now, also very important, the wire size, it's not only how much filler metal is going into your weld zone, it's also the size of your electrode. So the larger it is, the hotter it's gonna become, the more ionization. Now, that is your wire. Now, you pick the wire size that you're using, the wire that's inside your machine, and we are on 0.030 inch wire or 0.8 millimeter. So we're gonna use this line and we're gonna follow it over to our chart. It's the second one down, and we're just gonna find whatever thickness here that we're about to weld on. Let's say we're gonna weld on 16 gauge. Here's 16 gauge, drop down to your wire speed and your voltage combination. That's what we're looking for. We're setting our elements. So 3.5, that's our voltage, and then 4 point, or excuse me, 45 feet per hour of filler metal entering into your puddle. Now, if you come up to the front of the machine, you take that information, you can see here there's two dials. One is for your wire speed, and the other one is for your voltage, how hot your arc is going to become. Now, all we have to do is take the information from our chart and plug it in to our dials. So, wire speed, we wanted 45, and then for voltage, we wanted 3.5. Now it is set perfectly for 16 gauge material.